erectile dysfunction, is that correct? Okay. And I know I've seen you in here before, but I have to do it for every patient. Can you just confirm your name and date of birth for me? I'll just make sure it matches on your chart. I always like to kind of start these visits off just saying that this is a safe place and I'm your doctor, so it's really important that um, you feel comfortable enough to kind of answer the questions honestly, and then if you answer my questions honestly, then I can give you a better, like, health diagnosis, obviously. So I just want to make sure that you are feeling totally comfortable because I will be asking, you know, a lot of questions related to kind of your, your just your health in general partake in as well as like you know sexual activities because that can really help me understand what could be um causing your ed so erectile dysfunction can happen for a wide variety of reasons it can stem from like um just stress or anxiety and just kind of like mental and feeling kind of issues as far as like obesity and um, having high blood pressure, heart disease, stuff like that. So we want to kind of rule out if it's like a bigger health problem versus just um, something that we could take care of without needing maybe uh, drugs or um, any kind of more like invasive or intense kind of medical help, you know? Yeah. So I just kind of want to start out by checking if you are uh, just generally in good health because that can rule out a lot of a lot of factors for us. Okay, great. So I'm gonna start this visit and we're just gonna kinda ask a bunch of, I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions about your health, okay? Great. Okay, let me get my handy dandy notebook over here. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're just start off pretty easy. What is your diet? Possibly now that this 
this um, erectile dysfunction is happening in your relation, maybe now it's causing some kind of issues and that can further stress you out and further um, exacerbate the problem. Yeah. So, um, just how long have you and your partner been together? Okay. And are you two um, monogamous? Have you or your partner had any um, STI checks recently? No? Okay, so I am going to recommend that we do um, just a, a quick STI check and that's just going to be uh, a urine test. You've done it before. Um, it'll be, again, a clean, a clean catch one and I can explain that when we get to that portion of the um, appointment. Quick, easy, and we'll just uh, double check. And since this partner is kind of new, um, it's it's always important with with new relationships, yeah, to kind of to kind of make sure that you're both um, checked out. And are you using um, condoms each and every time? Okay. All right. And then just the general. How are you feeling in there? You don't have to get into like too much details, but um, do you feel relatively secure and happy or is there some kind of anxiety for whatever reason and maybe you don't have to share if you don't feel comfortable? Okay. Okay. And um, is this um, ED a new problem that's occurring in this relationship? Um, were you okay before? Just kind of having problems. Okay. And do you find yourself um, struggling to have an erection if you were to try to masturbate? Okay. With your erections, are you struggling to even get an erection? Or is it something that you kind of lose during the process of having um, intercourse? Okay. So, or, or it could be a mix of both. Does it kind of depend on the situation? Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Um, is this occurring every time that you are being intimate with your partner or does it just kind of happen? Like, randomly, it seems. Okay. Have you had any issues with uh, ED after you've drank alcohol? Yeah, so drinking um, alcohol, especially in large quantities, can really raise your blood pressure and that can make it hard for you to have an erection yeah, or keep one. Exactly, yeah. So to, for a male to get an erection once you um, get sexually stimulated, um, your the blood vessels are going to open up in your penis, basically. And the blood is going to rush in there and fill uh, a spongy tissue that is throughout the penis and that's gonna give it the rigidity yeah yeah so once if there is any issues with circulation or stuff like that then you know blood can't get to where it needs to go and then that can be you know a big problem yeah that's that's what it needs exactly exactly so i think you kind of understand um so we're gonna get into the kind of the more, um, where I'm gonna give you a little bit of a checkup. It's nothing too invasive. Um, I'm just gonna kind of check your heart rate and yeah, breathing and normal stuff. Um, we will do the um, the urine sample. Um, you will need to get a blood test just in case. But from how you've answered the question so far, you seem like a relatively healthy individual. So I'm not thinking anything health related but we're just gonna do a blood test just to check just make sure all your levels are where they need to be as well as for any STIs um, I'm thinking it seems, it seems to be stemming more from like stress and possibly anxiety and obviously it's super hard to say like just relax and be calm and like don't worry about it that that's you know, it's hard to just make something like that, like, get off your mind. Yeah. And generally, as 
a doctor, I like to um, start out not super aggressive is not the right word, but I don't usually like to jump straight to like a prescription or say, you know, in extreme cases like surgery for, for ED. Yeah, it's, I would like to start ideally for you, maybe let's just try to see if you can just try to relax on your own, find some hobbies, yoga perhaps, or maybe you need some reading or just some chill time. Yeah, and then maybe we would progress into either you needing to go to some kind of therapist or you and your partner can go to if it's something that you feel like you're having um, issues communicating and you need like a mediator or someone who can kind of, yeah, give you productive ways to talk about uh, sex. Yeah, it's very important to have an open and honest conversation with your partner. Yeah, great. And then, um, if you are feeling up for it, generally with these exams, I will just do like a quick, mostly visual examination of your penis and kind of scrotum area, just to visually check out that everything's a-okay. Um, I will do a little bit of palpating, but if you're not feeling up to that today, that's totally okay. We don't have to do that. Um, I will start doing the um, rest of the examination and you can kind of think about that if you feel up to it. If not, we can do it at a separate visit. So yeah, whatever you're feeling comfortable with today. Okay, so I'm gonna get my gloves on. You breathe normally at first, and I'm just gonna kind of listen to your heartbeat, okay? All right, so let's begin. Just breathe normally, just in through your nose, out through your nose. They don't need to be deep breaths or anything.
So, 